Hi, I'm Lauren McNeil. I am 24 years old from Bel Air, Maryland, and I would love to be your next Global Connector Bee. I have an immense passion for travel, as I'm sure other applicants do, or we wouldn't be applying for this position. Um, but I also have a passion for meeting new people and getting to know their different unique stories. I wasn't always a social butterfly, however. When I was 13, I was catfished, before the show Catfish was around, unfortunately. And I was catfished by an individual who claimed to be my favorite band, Tokyo Hotel. It seems so obvious now that it was a lie, but at the time I was young, naive, depressed, and just craving connection. I used to be so secluded and introverted, and I just thought that these traits were part of who I was. I couldn't have been more wrong. After struggling with depression for eight years, I finally decided to get healthy. I was motivated by the fact that I almost completely dropped out of school. I was just ready to give up. This was a defining moment for me, and it was really where I realized it was time to do something about it. I moved back home. I took a semester off of school to get myself in the right headspace, and when I was finally ready, I transferred to Towson University. I recently just graduated, six years later, and it is the most amazing feeling to have followed through with that. Through therapy and immeasurable support from my friends and family is how I got healthy, and I wouldn't be where I am today without that. I wanted to say I felt like myself again, but truthfully, I found a whole new me. I could not be more different than who I was during all of those years. Those who knew me in the past would not even recognize me as the curious, outgoing, and energetic person that I am today. And as much as it felt like moving back home was a step in the opposite direction, I could not be more pleased with how this obstacle changed my life for the better. My love for Tokyo Hotel didn't bring all bad things, though. It was what drove my passion for the German language, which led to my first international experience. When I was 13, I went on an exchange program to Germany through my church. For two weeks, I stayed with a German family with a daughter, Ina, who was my age at the time. As mentioned previously, I used to be very closed off and shy. But on this trip, I was so thrilled to be experienced the German culture that my love for travel trumped my depression. I went from having severe anxiety over ordering my own beverage at Starbucks to be able to walk up to the counter and order for myself without a problem. Although this seems like such a small moment, it was actually a huge accomplishment for me. Even my parents said I came back different, and I was only there for two weeks. So imagine how much I changed while I studied in London for four months last semester. Upon my return, I knew I had changed, but I didn't necessarily know how yet. I didn't even realize how much I had changed until an instance at work made me recognize it. It was something that would have crippled me mentally for months, except this time I was able to brush it off and recognize that it wasn't my problem, it was theirs. This was the moment where I realized I had returned with more confidence in myself and who I am as a person. At this point in my life, I have never felt more comfortable in my own skin. Studying abroad also helped develop my sense of independence, responsibility, and curiosity. And meeting different people from different countries improved my cultural competence. And I didn't just meet new friends. I also dabbled with some dating apps while I was in London, where I connected with about four or five men for dates. The difference between dating in different countries was immediately apparent. I found that the men I connected with were much more considerate and interested in actually connecting and getting to know each other. Whereas in the States, I've noticed many don't carry the same values. It was really refreshing to get a different side of the dating world. Seeing how different other cultures are from us, even English speaking ones, was really humbling and eye opening for me. I was so lucky to be able to travel to wonderful places. It's a new day. to continue traveling, I also long to explore more of the different cultural differences within the dating world and otherwise. 
I've already mentioned that I love connecting with different people and hearing their different stories, so I would also be greatly interested in making new friends. I hope through this video I've shown you that I am resilient and receptive to change, that I'm curious and outgoing and dedicated to exploring what it's like to meet and connect with new people all over the world. I believe good things come from all bad experiences, even if it takes a little longer than we want to get there. Through my struggles, I have blossomed into someone I never thought I would be, and I would love to have the opportunity to apply this to the Global Connector B position. Thank you so much for your time and consideration, and I hope to hear from you soon.